Driver swaps, three hour race, and a driver that hasn't shown up. We've got no printer at the moment. So, at the moment, this is me and Goto. Goto's actually doing the first thing. See if Goto can get a, a decent start. He needs to make sure he doesn't lose any places because our car is not that quick down the straight, you see. So he, he kind of needs to hold at least second place and get into the slipstream. Try and get away from the Audi and the Ferrari behind because they will be quicker down the straight. Oh, he's got a great start. Are the Audi's gonna get around here? Well, luckily he's managed to hold it. Ooh, that was close. He needs to get a good run onto the straight really badly. Uh oh, uh oh, that's not great. Uh oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, definitely. I know what our straight line speed looks like. Well, with our setup, the Porsche actually around here doesn't have that much um, top speed. You can see already, you can look at the Audi. Uh, we're definitely in trouble. Yikes. That's uh, what we didn't need to happen. He's struggling a bit. Gonna have to get him somewhere else, but we're gonna we're gonna struggle to overtake. But if this guy in the Audi can um, keep up, or if he's quick enough, then it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hopefully, we don't get any damage. It's tight. I can see Saclari getting away while he's got battle. So we kind of need Goto to uh, get past this guy. Yikes. It's crazy when you watch somebody else race how everything seems like it's a scary moment. Whereas when you're in the car yourself it just seems like all natural. Also, it's quicker than this guy, but he has no straight line, so he's gonna have to get a good run again. Yeah, much better run this time than he did the last lap. But still, he's gonna struggle to overtake. I reckon he might close up. This is sort of the perfect distance. He might close up a lot, but he's gonna struggle to get past. Barely able to close up. Wow. Wow. That was crazy. So we pretty much the setup is sort of built for first sector and sector three, which is probably why you're gonna see gold saw all over him. And somehow gonna have to make a pass six so Clary will start pulling away definitely well Alex as well right behind gold so what's happening Lime how you doing bro
But he's going for the outside. Oh my god. He's in trouble. Us. Gonna have to chuck it down inside. No. This guy is defending so hard. He's creating a massive train. Also got a good run that time, that was a good run. I had a much better run actually. Anyway, he's gonna pull out from the slipstream and he's not gonna go anywhere. Oh, this is frustrating. Look at that, pulls out from the slipstream and gets pulled away from. Wow. Almost bins it. There you go, inside line. Lovely. Oh, someone's got a, already got a drive through. Jeez. Wow. Now in this last sector, he needs to actually get his foot down. It looks as if he can create enough of a gap now. Look at that battle behind though. So Saklari doing 55 fours, man. So we'll see what kind of pace Goto has got. He's already. I'm not sure if that timing's right, but that's crazy. If he's already a second up, that timing cannot be right. No way. The gap between him and Saklari is two seconds, but Saklari might have a lot less downforce. So you're probably going to be quicker down the straight. Let's change the camera for a bit. So Clary gained quite a lot on the straight there. But this is where we expect to be quick. Five, five, fifty-five, three. So there's two times quicker on that lap. What I'm going to have to do as well, as well is we're going to have to adjust the uh, tire pressures to whatever the weather is saying for when I'm in the car. See what he's saying on board. Oops. And now I wanted to catch what sort of top speed he had.
Let's see if we manage to uh, shorten that gap further. Now let's see if the car was quicker on this lap. 55.3. 55.6. We're opening up a gap to the cars behind. So let's see what speed Sakari gets down the straight. quicker than us down the street, that's for sure. But right, let's see what happens when the tires start wearing. to be a tenth quicker on this lap, I believe. Yeah. Puki started to pick up his pace in the Audi as well, behind. They went about three tenths of a second, three tenths slower per lap. Man, I've just been, I've been just trying to sort out some stuff just to make the whole streaming experience more comfortable for myself, man. And plus, I, over the new year, I was quite sick, so I wasn't... I was just... just laid up. Couldn't do anything. But I'm back, man. I am back. This should be an interesting race, man. We're losing so much on the straights, though. That's the, that's the problem. We're losing tons on the straights. I mean, I, I never used to get sick, but I don't know what kind of a... Uh, Flu virus I had, but Jesus, wow! It was, it was, it was really something, man. I, I, I phoned work and I said, "You are not seeing me this week. You are not seeing me this week." close in pace between these two but um I feel like what's gonna be more telling is when the tires start wearing
I feel like basically everything we gain, we lose on the straight. And I guess it's vice versa for us to clarify, so. Uh, Alright, uh, this, this, what's this um, virus called that's in China? Um, uh, what's the name of this silly virus? All I know is it's, it's pretty crazy, man. What are you looking for? Okay. The what? Huh? My bottle. Your bottle? Yeah. It's in the, um, which bottle? Your new one? Because I know what I have. I don't actually know. Yeah. We looked in the fridge or anything like that. Goto must have got a pretty good run out of the last corner in his fastest lap because he loses all his time every lap. That's the car his worst lap he's done so far, I think. So after an hour, we should we should have around about a nine second, no, a 12 second gap over the cars behind. Now Pookie looks as if, um, he looks as if he's, he's lapping slightly quicker than the guys behind him actually. He's, he's still in the 55s where they're doing 56s now. So um, let's have a quick look at you. I suppose Ripper is still quite close. But obviously they're going to have to change. They're going to have to change driving. I, I can imagine that everybody's put their fastest driver in first because um, the fastest drivers do the quali. So I can imagine the drivers getting in the car after these are probably not as quick. So that's a decent li um, Audi livery. I'm not going to lie. I like it. But once these two start battling, they're going to start costing each other time anyway. Because I think that the battling at the front is what caused um, Siklari to get the gap in the first place. So Ripper this time with a 55.7. Like but the Audi, the Audi is what I'm, I'm picking for the AOR season, man. I'm going to do a lot of tuning. Saklari, who's he team with actually? Hold on. Let me return to garage. He's team with Ambrosi. Ambrosi, especially Gold Sword, Prenter and me. But Prenter is nowhere to be seen. So it's gonna be a two-man team, I believe. And this printer's miraculously turned up. Let's check my Discord. And... Nope, no printer. Oh, so you managed to get past. I missed it. Alright, so let's see what sort of pace Ripper's got now. These two lapping incredibly consistently. I think actually Goto is just starting to eat into the lead little by little. Uh, 
<laughs> nah, man, I've, I've actually been enjoying the Audi recently. I think it's just one of the ones where you have to really take the time to uh, to get to know the car, and you have to take the time to make the setup perfect. No cutting corners. So Ripper already 5.9 seconds behind. See, this is where I feel like once there's a little bit of wear on the tires, this is where I feel like um, our setup's going to come quite good because we've picked more rear downforce. But the problem is, in my hands, the car is still sliding around quite a lot. I was getting with 105 litres of fuel, I got a 55.7, but the track conditions were only fast. And I'm, let's check what the track conditions are now. Optimum. And it's nowhere near as hot, so yeah. Should be fine. Yeah, maybe we did, but the Ferrari seems to have quite a lot of pace, man, but. I reckon once you get into the slipstream, man, you're, it's not impossible to make the pass. With our setup, we're getting into the slipstream, and the moment we pull out, the car in front is pulling away. So um, I'm glad that uh, Gold Tour's going to put us in some clear air. Zero, zero stuff and looks as if um, he's just waiting there to, to pounce, to be honest. This is quite a nice battle. I reckon the pool card is um, it's just a, it's a good track for racing, man. A lot of people don't like it, but I think it, you get good races here. too sure about is the penalties. I'm not sure what happens if uh, one of the drivers gets two penalties and then you go in and you get the another two. Do you then get the drive through or is it free for each driver? Let's see how close Ripper is. So they're very similar, similarly matched down the street. But through the fast right hander, Ripper's car looks like it is glued to the road. Mm. 
nice exit, but you can see these are losing loads of time now. 56.8, ooh, Rip Home spins it. 56.6. These guys running that second of that quicker now. Yeah, I think this the, this is where you can see the gap really open up now. Three pennies per driver, that's cool then. I find I find this is one of them tracks that punishes you when you try to break too deep into the corner. Like you can gain just as much time as breaking a little bit early and just letting the car reach the apex and then instead of trying to push it into the corner. It's got a lot of corners that punish you for breaking late. This one's one of them. The next left hand is one of them. The second to last corner is one of them. I this is like my worst corner on the track. My worst corner on the track. I can't I just can't do it properly. <laughs> something or once I'll get it right and then I'll, I'll never be able to um, match it. Very weird. Uh, uh, half an hour almost into the stint. I think it's 65 minutes per stint that a driver's allowed, so no double stints, I don't think. Yes, I've got that one mistaken, but we'll see what happens, man. using let me see what engine map um Sakura is using um, he's using map eight we're actually using map four they say that map eight is supposed to be the quality map but i've never actually noticed a difference in terms of straight line speed all i notice is with with map eight when you put your foot down it tends to just push out and give you a little bit of an uh, understeer so I always use map 4 or if or 
the most I use is Max 7 for the Porsche, which I think is the qualifying aggressive throttle, but I, I don't like the linear throttle of Map 8. It's just personal preference, but I don't think Map 8 gives you anything in terms of qualifying mode. I think it's exactly the same as 4. I think Sakara has done a good job though, man. You've been on it. He definitely looked pretty quick in the first sector and the third. And this has been a decent lap by Gold Sword. It's looked pretty quick this lap. Definitely got a lot closer. Again, Ruiz is all coming out of the last corner. Guys behind really falling back now. see the gap down to 1.4 seconds on the straight so you definitely close in quite a lot Through. 73, sorry. This time, those will set us off from that.
that went very well. I think he just got back in time before he reached them two bollards. But if we can get into his slipstream then, all would be good because he'd carry us down the straight. Nice line for the first set today. That down to nine temps. Let's see, let's see how the battle was behind us forming up. Ripper still couldn't get past Pookie. And LX, Zero Stefan's falling behind LX, wow. Zero Stefan, remember, was right on the back of Ripper. Doing 56 nines now. Insane. to be pretty quick around this track, man. I'm surprised he's not higher up. So go to us a little closer again. I think his tyres are starting to die. This is if we're going to be getting traffic in a minute as well. Yeah, you can see into that corner, he just... Yeah, I think his tyres are definitely starting to die.
definitely gaining a lot of time through that first sector and the last. I just think that you know depend this track can kill tires anyway and you'll see when I get in the car I was noticing my tires were definitely overheating through some of the faster corners So definitely through this corner a lot quicker it also depends as well how much downforce how much downforce oh wow also depends on how much downforce he's uh, got on the car hold on Ciclaro definitely seems to be uh, slowing up. So this is where this is where Gold Tour is normally quick. So let's see if we can get right on the back of him. Um, before the back straight, try and get a good run. That looked decent to me. Let's see, we just don't have any straight line, do we? This is if he's pulling away down the straight. What's the best cars in the game? Um, the Porsche is one of them. Um, sometimes it's track dependent, man. Depending on the track, like for instance, the AMG at Monza is a beast. Um, I say, I say right now the most popular cars are definitely between the Porsche, uh, the Ferrari, a lot of people on the Audi at the moment as well. Definitely got to find a way in the other sectors. Got to force him to defend where he doesn't want to. Just like there. These are actually lapping at the same speed as the cars behind now. It's a lot quicker through there. Let's see. Yeah, Saclari's having to defend now into these corners. But that wasn't a great run by Goldsaw that time. Saclari really running wide, definitely struggling with tyres. through this next corner that's his gold source chance he seems to be able to take a shallower line into the corner oh so Clary blocks it does he oh it's gonna be tight oh god that was close but that that's that was the corner I could see it happening definitely
Uh, Saklari defended it well. And now, now, now Saklari sort of knows where the danger is. I don't know if that gave us any damage or... There we go, that's a good run. He's gonna have to defend it. Oh my. So Clary's deep. Yeah, he's definitely struggling with the ties. He's got another 13 minutes to hang on though. I think it's going to be the same again. I think if Goldsaw can force him to defend to the inside, he can take a, a wider line and then maybe attack him into the next left-hander. Again, way quicker through that corner. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, he's through. And I think a lot of it may, may be to do with this whole pad thing that people are talking about, but I think a lot of it has got to do with the, the amount of downforce that we chose. Because you might lose maybe two or three, two or three tenths a lap when the tyres are good, but when the tyres start to wear, I think you lose more than that. In the uh, tight and twisty bits, I believe you will lose more and two or three temps per lap. So let's see, let's see what um, Goldsaw can do in clean air and how fast the Clary's pace has fallen off. They break so late, wow. Broke crazy late for that corner, wow. I think he knows he's trying to get on the back of Goldsaw before the straight because he knows he's quicker. He's actually not done too bad for this first set to Seclari. Got a pretty decent run, you know. He's got it. Oh, he's, he's catching him again. Wow, uh, Goldsaw does a smart thing, lets him have it. Wow, he's so much quicker down the straight. That is why he's struggling so much in the corners. Lack of downfalls in the corners, that's what's killing him. Oh, he blocks it off nicely. I think he's, he must have seriously no downfalls, like 0 2 or something like that. I feel like you gotta be you gotta be an extremely good driver to pull that off for a whole stint. But as you know, if you you guys are pretty sure most of you guys watch um RLM, so Clary is a very good driver. Drive through for car 69. I'm sure that car had a drive through already. Wow. two in a lovely battle to be honest
Wow, that's crazy. In the Porsche as well, that is crazy. That that could that could all be zero one wing. Something like that. No, this is not the the, the pad league. Mommy. Didn't realise I did pad leagues. We swam around the outside. He's just pulled that off. Wow. <laughs> oh, the, the bloody 24 hour. Do you know what? I miss my favorite part of, of the, 20, the daytime 24 hours is the quali. I don't even care that much for the race, I just enjoy the quali. Free on YouTube right now, all conflicted. Yeah, I enjoy the quality in 24 hour race. For me, a 24-hour 24 24-hour race is not even really about the pace. A lot of 24-hour racing is just luck. That your car don't break down, or you don't get involved in someone's incident, and not all the time the fastest people actually win. So I like to see the fastest up against the fastest, and the only time you see that is in quality. Are you going to get around the outside in time? It's going to be close. Yeah. Oh, wobble. Oh, he's held it this time. <laughs> the car is so much faster than that straight. It's insane. Traffic. Oh, a bit closer track extension then. done I think he's escaped enough on this lap Satin in Murph So between five to ten minutes before I get in and absolutely chuck the car into a wall somewhere. Hopefully not. Well, it could have been going better because Prent is supposed to be here, but... That was close. Wow. Oh my god. That was so close. you have to do each other's uh, tire pressures see what's crazy is when in the practice lobby 
the track temp was like 41. So I haven't actually experienced driving at these temperatures yet. Or driving on the optimum track because the track was on fast. So hopefully there's a, there's a little more uh, little more grip than what I was used to. sure about the pace of uh, Sakari's teammate either so that'll be interesting uh, Sakari's still hitting in 55s as well man He's driven a great first in as well, to be fair. But remember tomorrow the big grid race, man. I don't know if I'm allowed to stream that one, you know, because I know that um, there is some some sort of uh, disclaimers, shall we say. But I know the mainstream going out is going to be uh, Mr. Gitz. But I'll, I'll definitely record it, but man, when we did the practice yesterday, that grid, that big grid race was absolutely murdering my PC frame rate. I'm talking, it was crazy. And that was only about, how much people did we have? I think we had about, 40 or 50 in that lobby and there's going to be about 80 so I don't know what my PC is going to be doing tomorrow. So I was requested, he's requested me, looks as if we're getting in lads. Let's get our chair ready. It's coming into the pits. It's time to race. Don't get a drive through penalty. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I'll try not to choke, man. I'll try not to. I've been sat here for an hour just twiddling my thumbs. This should be... This should be uh, interesting. Let me see the pit time, man. I'm supposed to know and just let me go. There you go. I'm in.
So let's just try and not throw it away straight away. Cheers for the host, man. My other screen's like almost behind my head, so I'm trying to turn my head and look who's hosting me at the same time. Crazy. Oh my god, we just have no straight line, do we? Some sort of lap car ahead of us. Wow. I'm gonna shut that one away. There's not that much grip, lad. Drag me down the straight, and he's got a drive through. Just as long as he knows, he needs to be getting out of the way at the end of the straight. Oh my god, he's not even gonna get out of the way. What an absolute bear. Sakari's some uh, interesting lapped cars, man. Definitely more grip for this corner than in practice. 
way more quick. Super wide. So technically, the climber might get a DQ. Hundred nine liters of mescal. Cool. Only four more liters than what we had before.
That guy in front was pretty naughty. We held him up through the first sector and then let him pass just before the straight so he don't get the slipstream. That is pretty cheeky. This guy is off his head. <laughs> What's happening, freaky butt? I could have actually wiped that guy out. A lot of drive through pennies, man. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Alright, we'll make sure we sort the tire pressures out before the next stop.
cars, double up shift. Our wheels almost dead, by the way. We would have lost six tenths down the straight. <coughs> Loads on that lap. Close enough for that slipstream, please. Nice one, lad. I was just thinking that like, detox, I know we're at the end of the stints, <coughs> he struggled quite a lot, but a lot of that would have been just the pressure he was put under as well, if he feels like he's got a bit more time, then I'm sure he will probably relax a little bit more, but he still had to push.
for the follow, man. I'm just struggling for my corner. So if it's going to get dark, I can imagine that the track tents will fall. Then you have to put the tire pressures up for gold saw in the last thing. Slime through there. Through there. Oh, just a cloud of a penalty. That looks like a drive through. Oh, he does. 
Take no risks. Drive through cleared. What? These are getting their drive throughs cleared. Ah, that's bullshit. I thought I saw a drive through cleared, and it still looks like. Um, excuse me, fine gentlemen. I don't mean to interrupt, but I um. Actually, taking defensive lines against me. What even is a blue flag? Drive through, he doesn't have a drive through. You drive through, don't count. Oh 
Proszę. to get back on it because I started to relax when you got back on it. This is bullshit. Process is starting to drop quite a lot. So I'm going to have to hold and compensate. Who's going to land that remaining? That's interesting. Take the slip stream as long as you get right at the end of the straight, mate.
Nah, no, Ewa has not attempted the custom BOP yet. I don't think they will. But someone's bound to start moaning about something, so... Gold, so I missed everything you said. You may have to repeat once I get to the straight. Very hard for me to look behind my head anywhere else. I'm thinking if his um, penalty thing's broken, then he can cut the track as much as he wants. Left 2.8, 26.8, sorry. Mid spin. This traffic message is getting on my nerves. Well, that practice lobby was pretty useless. Conditions are totally different. It was a terrible lap. 
about the last 15 minutes. Take all your slip sheet. Thank you very much, Carl. Suggestion taken on board, go to taken on board. No, no marbles. No drive level marbles. Take a look at them pressures, tell me what you want. <coughs> That's I think you should be good. the tire sliding.
goats are younger than six minutes. I take it if we pit a tad bit earlier, fresher tires maybe. I can make up some of the difference. Seven in the front right. You sure? Uh -oh. No more cuts allowed, gentlemen. This is dropping big time. Wow, this is the endurance lights. They look dull as hell. Let's check the fuel amount. I'm gonna give you 115 because I might pay at the end of this lap.
Alright, maybe next lap. Actually, I'm gonna follow what he does. He picks in this lap, I'm coming in this lap. Then again, hmm. I'm coming in, go to actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. One more, one more. You let all that traffic affect him. This lap coming in. Thanks for that man, I appreciate you. I wish I could turn my head round and see who that was. Alright, get ready go to uh, coming in. Pfeffer, CJ man, thank you bro, for the tier 1 subscription. Good stint, that stint was terrible. The only reason why I kept up with him because he wasn't as quick as a... Uh, excuse me. Hopefully this works. Good stuff. Go to back in the car. So that's my skin done. It was a pretty terrible drive to be honest lads. Wow! Wow, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Wow, they're just... Who is that? It's unbelievable what some of these guys are like man. Honestly. Did he not pit? Did Ambrosio not pit? I don't think he pitted. Shut up, CJ. <laughs> but no, it's 
What I don't like is that the practice session, man, is completely different. We could have probably afforded to run slightly less wing, to be honest. There's a lot more understeer in the car. So let's see what uh, the leaders do. That's dope here. There we see. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, so he's still going. 56 sevens, he's doing um he's starting to slow down, this is good for Goto. Uh, They're visibly off the throttle a lot longer than we are for uh, that corner. Having to go down to second to get the nose in. is rapid man as long as you can get a setup for it I mean I've been driving it and for me I've been like uh, I've got the same issues with the Porsche I have with the AMG at some tracks I nail the setup and it's rapid at other tracks I'm just off the pace in it but it's definitely one of the, the front running cars now definitely rapid but it tracks with loads of corners like Zanvo it's just a beast so this is going to be a uh, this is going to be close, lads. Not, not too sure what kind of pace Goldsaw is doing in a minute. Let's find him. Uh. Yeah, Goldsaw's up on his fastest lap, so... This lap alone... It's probably going to have made up over a second. Hope the tire pressures are all good. Oh, that guy spun in the perfect time. Alright. That's the car sitting in the pit lane. Oh shit, wrong way. Here he comes. Oh, he's going to get us. We did it, we did it just about. Now the first half of this chase is going to be very interesting because I believe Sakari is going to be able to keep up and he's got that ridiculous straight line but I think towards the end, which is why I think they went so long on this set because he faded towards the end of the last stint. So that's why, that's why I think he went so long. Um, well, his teammate went so long to try and get him a little bit more leeway. Yeah, slow pit entry, and to be honest, he held on to the pit limit too long on the way out as well. And then he didn't, he didn't even accelerate straight away. So, let's see. The guy's got crazy straight line though. What's happening, Romara? How you doing, bro? Oh, it's going to be a battle to the end. Hopefully no one gets any penalties or anything like that. We still have had a drive through penalty for about 20 laps, but it's cool. It's cool. You know, it's, 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 it's cool. It's, it's, it's cool for steak. I wish the game had a brightness setting. It's so dark. Well, it's actually a lot lighter on my screen. But when I look at the actual, when I look at the stream, it's like super dark. Maybe it's just my TV.
So I'm expecting Sakura to be rather fast in this stint. But I know at the end of the stint, I think Gold Sword should have enough. So we'll see now. It would have been pretty mint to have done it with me, Prento and Gold Sword. Or three of us. What, what I noticed as well, when you're out of the car for an hour, it takes you like, it takes you a few laps to even get used to, um, to get used to driving the car again. Yeah, I'm streaming again, bro, man, I had to get back on it. I had to get back on it. But as I was saying to these up before, I, it was more of just about changing my stream, um, my stream experience for myself. Now I'm sat in front of a desk, the TV's right in front of my face instead of like, almost underneath my wheel so I'm having to look over my own hands to see the screen and stuff. Oh man. I mean I I'd like to try VR but I don't like the feeling of um not knowing what's around me in the real world, if you know what I mean. I'm one of them people that when I whenever I'm, I'm walking anywhere and it's like late at night or whatever I put my headphones in, but I have one headphone out so I can hear just in case. When you've been living in London that long, you know to always be ready just in case. <coughs> so they're both, both doing 55 runs now. Let's hope Goto gets that traffic on the straight. Get a nice slipstream. Unfortunately, I can't see Goto's tire pressure, so I can't tell you whether he nailed it on the pressures or not. Oh, it was a bit wide there. No, get a slipstream. Yep, he definitely will get a slipstream. Yeah, Goto's down in his lap time. This straight so long, you don't know whether lap cars are trying to race you or let you through. Like this guy. Good boy, good boy. Now originally the setup that Goldsaw had had a lot less wing than what I was running, but I just, like these corners were like a nightmare for me. What's happening with CD there? I thought he was racing today. Yeah, I've noticed that as well. When you when you mess up your temperatures at, at, um, in night races, you are effed. Your car is just sliding around all over the place. Senior, are you doing the race, the big grid race tomorrow, Mr. Gitt's big grid race? That race is going to be crazy. David Farrell, um, Jimmy Broadband, a bunch of different leagues and drivers, all fast, your nobles, everyone's going to be there. I'm pretty sure Goldshaw will be in there. Um, Andre, Frankie, uh, everyone from the SSR league, all the fast guys from the SSR league, AOR. Goto was just about to go around the bell but realised he'd probably get a penning for it. Oh, he, uh, I mean, that's leveled out, surely. Well, that, that just about leveled it out, I think. 
I know a lot of the time, you know, a lot of the time you get angry with guys when you're trying to, you know, when you're trying to lap them, but some of these guys generally just, they get a bit spooked when someone approaches them just that fast. Like, you know, so, um, oh my god, wow. Wow. Shocking. Who was that? Who was that? Um, Vanderbilt. Oh man. That's the battle for the lead over. I know the hands are an easy victory, but I like a good battle, man. That's kind of ruined it all. But, I mean, this may be the end of the race. Pretty straightforward, I guess. and stuff like that but I feel like that's an easy corner to avoid someone if you know they've made a move to the inside you can kind of just turn out of the corner he just just carried on and I know you get like the blue flags waving all around your screen as well so I think as well when you're when you're driving and um I would rather be taken out by someone I'm racing wheel to wheel with than be taken out by someone that I'm lapping. Um, you can have a replay if you want. I can. Oh shit. Prepare for the pausing people. I forgot about this. Fully just frozen the whole screen with this replay shit. I should I should have known better. All right, wow. Let's wait for this pause and business to go. What even is this camera? Um, what lap are we on? Let's go here. Let's get the. Hold up. And. We're looking about here. So, let's go on board with, who is it? I don't know, uh, what's his, I don't know his team's called, he's in the Audi. Let's guess. Not him, not him, not him, not him. Shit. Him, nope. Oh, where is this guy? He's in Audi. Yep, there he is. Alright, let's go back. Um, let's see what he sees. That's not what he sees. This will do. Does he have enough time to react? I mean, he should have seen it coming, but uh, clearly he didn't do it on purpose. He just had no idea. Uh, oops. Let's see. Ooh, I mean, it was a late move, man, but I feel like if you, if you look in the mirror, I kind of feel like you can, he's probably getting blue flags right now. Look, once he's this close, you've got to let him through. You've got to let him through. Once he's that, he's made the move, 
Now, I, I, I think, even though it's a bit of a dive, I think he should have been backing out of that. Waiting for, waiting for the guy that's a lap up to go through, man. Definitely should have been backing out of that. Let's go to a full pretty easily. He's getting flashed as well. He's getting flashed. Oh, there. Yeah. He's, he's way too close, man. Look. In fact, I don't even think it's that much of a dive. <coughs> um. Yeah. Actually, I, I just think that, um, I just think it's his fault, to be fair. Class the car is actually closing that quite up. 6.5, it was 8 point something before. Also doing 55 sevens. Saglari so stuck doing 55 ones, interesting. Cheers for the fellow Grandpa, cheers for the fellow... Is it... Alanro? Alanro. has been having traffic but um seems to be struggling just a little not too sure what the tire pressures are saying oops wow uh, goldsell's last lap 57.6 wow must have been had must have had major traffic that's why I lost so much time. Uh, thank God it doesn't matter, because my pronunciations are terrible. Uh, see, they always do it to me. They, they, they follow me with the most difficult names. I'm going to attempt this one. Toran Raptor. Thank you for the fellow there. I appreciate that, man. I nailed it, you see? I'm getting good at this, guys. <coughs> is it me or why does it see, like, the screen so much darker on the stream than it is on my screen? Why is this bloody, maybe my TV is just super dark. Maybe that's why I perform so badly whenever I use the big TV at night. Now I'm starting to understand and come up with new excuses. What is this guy doing? Oh my god. What are you doing? Oh, flash the hell out of this guy. Flash the hell out of this guy. Wow, what is this guy on? Jesus Christ. Let them find some of these guys, man. Sakari got pulled by less than a tenth, I believe. That was crazy, man. I 
I'm very interested into to how a lot of people got their names. How did you make your name up? How did you come up with your name? Uh, yeah, go to a wizard. I believe go to a wizard with a uh, control pad. Oh, you want more BMW setups? I can do that. I can do that. One day, one day we'll get gold silver on a, on a wheel. I mean, back in the day, I played with a pad. Um, back in the day, I played with a pad on a P Cars One from the beginning of P Cars One, and then I got back on the wheel and just never looked back. <laughs> well, why don't you watch um, Aris, Aris' streams where he breaks it down, explains explains a lot of what the setups mean, what they do. And he's one of the developers for the game, so... Is it even I, I watch the streams, even though I know, I know quite a bit about setups, but I always watch Aris' streams because he breaks down so much. I was about PS1 times Ridge Racer. Yes. Even Wipeout. Do you remember Wipeout? You screwed my lap in the big grid server. Big grid server. Uh, did anyone screw my lap? I don't think anyone screwed my lap. What happened was is I was getting mad um screen freezes so I just drove straight off the track because I didn't know where I was yeah I know my, my, I'd say F1 games was the main game I would play for a long time you will never see Gran Turismo's and stuff like that No, 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 like, I was coming up to that corner at Blanchemont, I can believe it was, and then all of a sudden it just, the game just froze, and I thought, okay, there's a car in front of me, he looked like he was slowing down, and if I carry on, I'm probably gonna go full speed into him, so I just, I just turned sort of right and just pulled off the track. F195, what a game. What, what about Toka Touring Cars? Toka Touring Cars was absolutely quality. That game right there, wow. Toka Touring Cars was like, just one of the best games ever. Wow, oh my god, what is going on? Jesus. Holy shit, Jesus Christ. What is that doing? Fucking hell. Oh my god. Brown pants. Fucking hell. Let's see what this guy does. These guys are scary. Now I know what it's like, you know, when these guys are doing their 24 hour races, man. But so in the real world where you've got that fear of actually getting hurt, it must be scary. Coming up to a guy, you're not too sure what he's going to do. And say you're, you're in a, like, uh, an LMP. Jesus. 
Oh, there's some guy. I don't know what. Uh, let, let's let's hit the replay. We hit the replay. It's gonna freeze a bit, lads. Let's just wait. Oh, it didn't freeze that long. All right. What even is this camera? Okay, let's go here. Huh? Is it coming? Yeah, it's coming. Let's go. Now watch this. Tell me if this is the scary thing you've ever seen. To explain what this guy was doing. I think he was actually trying to go in the pits, but why was he? <laughs> what was he doing? Hold on, let's find this guy. Aston Martin. Is it you? No, that's a Bentley. I'm stupid. Wow. No wonder. <laughs> no wonder. His car is battered. Why didn't he just cut over the inside? Or oh, maybe it would have given him a penny. Let's see how close this really was. What was he doing all the way out here? Oh, 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 Jesus. This man was confused. Jesus. <laughs> Nicky Team's a madman. I'm surprised he's not on the set anymore as well. I'm excited to be racing David for David Perel, whatever you say his name, tomorrow. It's always nice to race real life drivers, man. Back in the day, on uh, P Cars One, I used to race a lot with um, Jake Dennis. Quite a few races with Jake Dennis, man. He was rapid, though. P Cars One, rapid. Yo, we got another follower, man. Ah, uh, it's another hard name to pronounce. Let's go. Let's 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 try this. Havunzo. Avanzo. Cheers for the fellow Avanzo. I think that's how you say it. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> yeah, he's ready for season three, man. Are you are you sticking with the AMG for season three? Oh. I know it. I know it. Look at my pronunciations, man. I'm getting there, man. Pronunciations are getting better. I thought long and hard about the AMG for season three, but I think I'm just going to stick with the Audi. It's what I've been driving. Uh, which one? I've got the. Uh, I've got two. I've got the blue one, and then I've got the. Uh, Cream and red, I think it is. Oh, uh, Hasuna, you that race that you had for um, Redline Motorsport. You should have won that, man. You should have won that race. If you didn't spin, you would have won that race. Yeah, little bit of cost delivery. That's it. Anybody watch that um, RLM race at um, Mazzano? That race was quality. In the rain and they all started struggling at the end. Yeah man, all you fast guys should be in the NSX. Or better still, the, the old Lamborghini Gallardo. Let's see what um, Kevin's doing. 
Nothing, because I've gone the wrong way. There he is. Oh. I feel sorry for um, Sakari, man, because th this is a good battle. And you can see he's, he hasn't really lost any more time either, so... They would have been still neck and neck all up to now. Which would have made it nice and tense. They banned you? What? Is it? Wow. I didn't know, I didn't know they were like that, man. I don't, I don't think Duck Force and Duct Tape are the same person. I don't think, at least. If you say more about, wow. I mean, I watched, I watched, um, I watched that race. I didn't really see. I can't, I can't remember. I just remember um, you having a spin, and then you came back through and caught everybody. I'm going to be doing <coughs> what's happening Marley what I'm going to be doing definitely this this year I'm going to be doing a birthday race man have to have to do another birthday race and then we have to get something else I'm, I don't even know I might not even race my birthday race I might just be the one that just live streams it and just have a pretty big event and whatnot. Let's see what we can do, man. See what track to do. Hopefully by then, by March the 11th, all the new tracks and stuff will be out. So we'll have like a, I don't know, maybe two hour, three hour race. Actually, let's keep it two hour because even though the driver stops are cool, I kind of want everyone to be in there individually. So. If I had my way, I would probably choose either, um, choose of the fellow senior man. I'd either choose, um, Suzuka or, um, Kialami. I, I, I would do Bathurst, I know a lot of people are going to want to do Bathurst, but I just know that there'll probably be a lot of crashes there, which kind of takes away from the whole race when everyone's, when so many people crash. So I want to do a track where I know most people can keep it on. A track where we can have a bit of a battle, some overtaking maneuvers. Maybe Suzuka, I think Suzuka is a track that most people know. So hopefully for my, for my birthday, I run a birthday race, try and make it a relatively big grid, try and get all the fastest guys and all the guys that we know involved and see what we can do now. What's happening, Voodoo? You know, technically, uh, I'm pointing out now. Um, I'm probably not going to race my own birthday race, but I will, I want to catch all the action, so we could do Laguna, but, you know, I'm going to put it to a majority vote, what people actually want to drive. You know, I'll try and have some sort of rules or whatever. And hopefully everyone just has a, a good race, because the last one I did on P Cars 1, oh my god. That race right there. Cheers bro, I appreciate that man. Cheers Gixxer for the 200 bits. 
He prefers Suzuka. Suzuka is a Suzuka is a it's an amazing track to be honest. But knowing what I'm like, before I do before I do the birthday race, I just want to check the BOP around the track and make sure that each car can compete properly. But I just uh, Suzuka is going to be so good, man. I'm fed up. With, I was fed up with driving Sakito and on um, project cars. Mainly because he actually takes away one of the one of the um, overtaking opportunities by taking out the hairpin. Monza, no, 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 no. You don't know my relationship with Monza, no, no. It's boring. Monza's boring. I find Monza extremely boring. Both are starting to pull away now. Just a little. <laughs> God, this doesn't jinx me. Well, it can't jinx me personally. I'm not in the car, so... What, what, what happens, happens. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't really know what that version of um, Suzuka was on P cars, to be fair. Uh, they got rid of like the, the, the best corner section at the beginning. And they got rid of the hairpin at the end. The only corner that they really kept was the Lesmos, and even the um, chicane at the end. There's another overtaking opportunity that was gone, so it kind of took away a lot of fights that you could have been having. I can't believe the screen's so dark. So, Gixa, what actually happened with um, Saklari's drive-through? Because I saw they had a drive-through that just wasn't disappearing. I, I don't understand how they have a drive through and they just continue to drive on track. Disqualified for exceeding maximum driving time. Wah! Unlucky, bro. Oh, wow, that's, that's really wide gold, so. Um, I'll be honest with you, I like the old Silver Stone a lot more than the new one, and I mean a lot more. Maybe it's just ingrained in my memory, the Schumacher and Damon Hill battles, but I, p I just prefer Bridge and all them corners on, on the old Silver Stone, man. I don't even like the new Silver Stone that much. Silver Stone's a track, it's just... It's one of the tracks that's satisfying to get everything right. Or it's satisfying to nail that first sector. But actually, the old Silverstone was way more appealing to me. My favorite track, if y'all don't already know, 
Interlagos, Brazil. That is definitely my favorite track. Oh, that, that corner, man. Bridge, I'm telling you. The day they got rid of that corner at Silverstone was sad. Sad, sad, sad. See, that, that's, that's just, people, people like, um, they neglect how important the F1 sound was. I mean, as much as, you know, everything's changed and everything's different now and hybrids and all that, that sound was like synonymous with F1, man. I even remember, like, watching it on TV and when the cars would drive past the pits, you couldn't hear, you couldn't even hear what they were saying. Honestly, I'm starting to enjoy driving the Audi. <laughs> uh, I'll admit, it's, it's a little bit hard to drive at, um, at Spa. It's, it's really hard to get it through a Rouge. Because you've got to make such a compromise with the setup. That's very true, Amara. That's very true. But with the um, with the with the Audi at Spa, you make such a compromise just to get through the Rouge, and then honestly, the rest of the track, the car just feels a bit a bit off. Yeah, it's, I mean the gap's sort of fluctuated up and down a little bit. It's only it's only gone up by like eight tenths since since um he got taken out by the back marker. But I expect in the last last sort of ten minutes, I expect Goto to pull away a bit more. Never forget that. Never. So, who's your favorite F1 driver? Or who is everyone's favorite F1 driver? Come on, tell me who your favorites are. Let's say, let's go this way. <laughs> well, you got a good chance this, this season as well. Uh, this evening. Uh, you're another Rikenist. Where's, where's, where's Chris Pfeffer? He'd be very happy with you. He's a, he, he's a Rikenist. He praised to he praised to Kimmy. He praised to Kimmy. He calls himself a Rikenist. Does not believe in God? Just believes in Kimmy. You put Lewis Hammond in your top four. Okay.
You see, the thing with me is the way I judge drivers is probably a little bit different to some other people. Some people judge them by titles and wins and polls and all that. I judge it a little bit different, to be uh, to be honest. Oh, this guy's not going to move out of the way. I can just tell. This is the same guy last time. Look, see? Not moving out of the way. Too busy battling. Oh, that's the other guy that almost pinned us at the pit stop. Wow. Cheers for the fellow Sim Mason for the win. I appreciate that, man. But yeah, as I was saying, I, I, I judge drivers a little bit differently. Oh wow, look at the straight line of the other Porsche. Um, I would say, I always really sort of go off of not what they do when they've got the, the car, more what they do when they're not in the best machinery and, you know, how, they, how they're able to still fight for championships. That's why personally, I know everyone thinks he's dirty, but Schumacher's my favorite. Definitely. And he's not even my favorite for the amount of championships he won. He's my favorite because of when he didn't have the best car or the best equipment, he was still fighting for championships. And I feel like most of the other guys from, from after that era, probably only Alonso is the only guy who's really ever fought for a championship when he's blatantly had a car that's not that great. Everybody else sort of needed to have the best or equal equipment to, to battle for championships. I've seen Schumacher battle for championships when his car was terrible. Or at least still up there when his car was garbage. Consistently up there. But of course you got the old guys back in the day, Surtees, Jim Clark, all them sort of guys. I just like to see like, like for instance now, like no one can deny like Hammond's a great driver, but now you've got sort of the Mercedes car is so good that let's be honest, any other top tier drivers would win championships in that car. If Bottas is finishing second in that car, that tells you everything. Because to me, Bottas is not—he's not a top tier driver, is he? Let's be honest. Listen, the dirty driving, the dirty driving is one aspect of every driver or everything in F1. You know what I mean? You had, Senna was dirty. Senna was clearly a dirty driver. Senna would wipe someone out for a win. No, no bother. Or if he didn't agree with something. But obviously because he died, there's a different sentiment with Senna. You know what I mean? People don't like to speak badly his name, but Senna was dirty too. But Schumacher has done dirty stuff, and you know people will say you know, he cheated. Fair enough, he's definitely done some shady stuff. But I believe there's there's a lot there's a lot of shady things that happen in F1. You know what I mean, even if we look at take this for instance, Hamilton's 2008 title that was built on the back of McLaren cheating. You know what I mean? McLaren got the blueprints for the Ferrari the year before. So they knew, they knew everything that Ferrari were running on their car, and there was text messages found from the drivers about the uh, tire pressures and the air that Ferrari were using, and the cars they had next year weren't changing. So you could say his championship, or his car, was built off of cheating, which is why I think was it the president Max Mosley at the time he wanted to ban McLaren out of F1 for two years, but you know the FIA knew that would kill the sport. So you can say on the back, he had the championship on the back of his team cheating. Same thing with Alonso in the Renault. They clearly knew what they were doing. They clearly knew they were cheating. I believe, I believe there's a lot of cheating that's going on in F1. A lot. But if we're just talking about pure driving skill, definitely Hammond's up there for me. Definitely up there. 
But I just feel like I've never seen Hamilton battle for a championship when his car wasn't at least, at least level. Good driver, but the teams are also part of it, because let's be honest, if your car's terrible, you're not winning the championship. And if your car's terrible, you're not really getting to see how good a driver is. <laughs> I believe now the sad thing about F1 is the cars are too important, man. I think the drivers are less important in F1 now. If we go back to the, just before the hybrid era, what was it, 2012? You had like seven different winners, like out of the first seven races, and that's when that's when I feel like the drivers were making a difference. You had bloody what was his name? Um, the dirtiest guy in racing history. I've forgotten his name. The Venezuelan. How can his name, how can his name leave me? He's so dirty, his name's left me. Oh my god. Yeah, it, it was due to tire wear, but you still had to, you still had to manage your race. Oh my god, how can I forget his name? It was a Maldonado, that's it, thank you, Ramara. Maldonado won a race. Do you know what I mean? If, if you look at that dead few years, you saw Kobayashi uh, racing guys at the front. You know, now you'll never see that ever again. Well, not, not in this current era. The cars, uh, the, car, well, the, the front running cars are way above the rest of the field. It's ridiculous. So you're not really getting an actual picture of you know, what these driver talents are. I'll be honest, like, last season, I actually thought Max Verstappen was probably driving the best out of everyone on the grid, but Max Verstappen doesn't have the car consistently, well, didn't have the car consistently over the whole season, but he was driving at a very high level, and whenever he did have the car, he'd win the race. I can't wait for the I can't wait for the new cars, man. I've, I've this whole this whole hybrid era to me has been terrible. There's not much I've liked about the hybrid era. I think the cars were ugly. They sounded terrible. Mercedes were just way too quick from the get go. So we kind of just knew every season. It's like I wonder if anyone's managed to make any inroads into Mercedes. That's pretty much it. Let me scroll up, I didn't even see what you said. Oh shit, I can't even scroll up. Oh my god. All I can see is... They have always been important. What was always important? Are we talking the drivers or the car? Obviously a car has always been important, but w <coughs> We have, what is that? Paralysis? Oh, biases, biases. Well, of course we have, we have bias. I think that's what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see? My pronunciations, man. Now, of course we have biases, but, you know, when I look back at F1, 
and the whole era of F1 that I've watched, certain things stand out to me as in, as I said, I, I don't just look at who wins the races because, as I said, I look at Hamilton's achievements in the, in the Mercedes and I think he's done exactly what he should have been doing. He's a top tier driver in, a, in the most dominant car in F1 history. So uh, none of his teammates that he's have, I think, were ever on his level. He's never had a teammate that's on his level. He's scratched his head, do you know what I mean? So uh, he's done, for me, he's done exactly what he's supposed to do against the teammates that he's had. Ah, oh, stop it. Rosberg is not the goal. Rosberg pushed him a lot closer than Bottas. Uh, Bottas is terrible. For me personally, Bottas is not, he's nowhere near, the, he's not a top level driver. There's about five or six drivers in F1 right now better than Bottas. They were dominant, they were dominant in 2017. No, no one's understanding that, you know, Apart from, apart from really that the first part of 2018, but once Mercedes got the tyres figured out, it was over. Yeah, but Barton was competitive against Hamilton, and you can see over the three years that they were teammates together, there was nothing between them. Hamilton won two, Barton won one, yeah. And I think in, in the two years that Hamilton beat Barton, the point difference was only like two or three points. Yeah, he, he led the World Championship, but leading the World Championship is, is, is nothing at the beginning. When you've got a team that develops how Mercedes develop, you know that Mercedes are always in the driving seat. He, he led the Championship in 2018 as well. But Mercedes always outdevelop Ferrari. It's, it's a known fact. Ferrari can't keep up with the development, man. No. Just just look at it. Look at the development of Mercedes over Ferrari in 2017 and 2018. Not only did Vettel start getting beaten by Hammer, he started getting beaten by Bottas. No, if, like, it's like basically what you can't you can't like just think oh you know it's, it's the drivers making a difference if I'm on a set of course lines a new car comes out and it's half a second quicker than the car that I've got there's not much I can do to make up that gap as a driver do you know what I mean he's got a car that's half a second quicker or he's got a car that's better than tires. So, what's it, two more laps for the goal tour? Yeah, not, not, not saying that, but what, what I'm saying is, is that there's no doubt about it, since 2014, Mercedes have had the leading car in F1. That's just a fact. In 2014, 2015, 2016, their car was nowhere near getting tested by anybody. Their car was well quicker. 2017, Ferrari closed the gap only on tracks that were tight and twisty. But it tracks with a long straight. They didn't even have enough speed to pass them down the straight. 2018 was the only real year where I feel like Ferrari caught them. But Ferrari themselves said they messed up the second half of the season because they didn't develop in the right direction. Make it up as we go along, it's, it's, a, it's a fact. Just look at the results. Look, when, when Ferrari and Mercedes were equal, 
It was Vettel, Hammer, and Vettel, Hammer, and Vettel, Hammer. It was happening race after race. Vettel would win, Hammer would win, Vettel would win, Hammer would win, Vettel would win, Hammer would win. When it came to the point of the season where they started putting upgrades on their car, Mercedes destroyed Ferrari after that. It was over. It was done. Just look at the results. Look at flipping Abu Dhabi at the end of the season. They were well down the road from Ferrari. The Ferraris were nowhere near them. Finished like 30 seconds behind. So for me, if we if we take away the take away you know when Vettel was at Red Bull and take away when Hamilton's been at Mercedes, and let's look at what they were doing when they didn't have the best car. Don't worry, I'll wait. In the years where Alonso was challenging for the title, in what was it 2012, 2010, and by the way, McLaren beat. Um, McLaren beat Ferrari to the Constructors' Championship in 2010 and in 2012, but he was fighting for the championship. Well, in Hamilton. So having a having a great car can do wonders for your career. Simple. Chair for the chairman, get some. I appreciate you, bro. Monza in 2018, they didn't. Hammer won that. What would you, what do you mean? How did Merck beat Ferrari? Because Vettel binned it, and then Hammer and beat Hammer and beat Reichman. What do you mean, Ferrari? Ferrari had a rapid car in Quali. When it came to the race, it was done. And I mean, the, the main thing, if you remember that weekend, was everyone ended up giving Raikkonen and Slipstream and gave Raikkonen and Pole when we know Raikkonen is not the faster Ferrari driver. So the fact that Raikkonen was leading messed up the whole thing anyway. Oh, Gold so he's done it, lads. He's done it. We've won. Well done, Goldsorf.